Mix it three this weekend, of course, Augusta is packed with athletes and families looking to participate or watch the 2024 Ironman 70.3 in its 15th year. Yeah, Jeff Spires, an Ironman athlete, is very involved with the race here in Augusta, and he's joining us now to share some changes happening this year. Hi, Good Jeff. You. Good, to you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good. Are you ready for the race? <laughs> yeah, I think so. I've been training a lot, so yeah, I think I'm ready. No, okay, no running today, though. No running, no running today. Okay, yeah, All right. I figured as much. Okay, so can you explain the changes made to the running portion this year? Yeah, they've done a lot to try to do away with the train interruptions and stuff like that. So it'll basically start near St. Paul's Church, go down the River Walk, and they'll take a ride on uh, 13th, mm -hmm. and it goes right into North Augusta and it attaches right onto the Greenway. All right, now, so what prompted the decision to make this change and incorporate North Augusta and the Greenway? Uh, like I say, the train and all the construction that was going on downtown, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it, that made a huge difference. And um, to be honest with you, both cities has worked really good together, so it worked out great, actually. It's a prettier run, too. It is, yeah. I love running on the Green Bay. Uh, Green Bay. <laughs> How can local residents participate beyond expectating? Like, can the cheer stations, or like, what can they do? Uh, there's going to be uh, cheer stations up and down the Green Bay. There's going to be a big cheer station at Beck Park. Uh, Fleet Feet, the North Augusta Runner store is going to have one outside their store. Uh, all up and down uh, Reynolds Street. Uh, uh, go to the 70.3 page and volunteer to help at some of the water stations. What's the, uh, what's the response and reaction been like from the North Augusta residents? Any feedback for including that, including them in the route? I've got, I get messages every day, and to be honest with you, it's been great. Uh, from the mayor on down to city council, they have been great about getting this race over there. They've worked really hard. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, now, Jeff, let's go back to talk to the hurricane because uh, Troy explained a little, a little bit, but maybe you can uh, explain us better, like how the process works and like the decisions that the guys have to make like, on Sunday. Well, like Troy and him said, safety's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and they're going to give the athletes every chance to get a swim in. So they usually won't make the decision until right at race day. Uh, like a friend of mine was telling me today, it usually takes about 24 hours after a storm for the river to really settle down with the debris and mud and everything. So if it, if it moves out like it's supposed to, there's a really good chance we'll still have it. But, you know, if not, we can still ride and run. We'll still get the race in. So instead of a triathlon, it's a duathlon. Duathlon, yes. Exactly. So, That's yeah. a word I didn't even know existed. I know. Okay. So the race is happening. So maybe just the swim portion that won't. Yeah, won't it's, it's a, I would probably say a, maybe a 70, 30 chance right now, just depending on the storm. Right. 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 So now, are there any specific areas along the Greenway where you're encouraging spectators to, to show up and gather? Uh, as soon as you pass Riverview Park, headed out towards Martintown Road, it gets kind of, you know, just shady and woody out that way. Mm -hmm. So just anywhere along that area, if they could get out, would be a huge help, yes. Every little bit of uh, encouragement and uh, pushing. Yes, and then, you know, it's, it's an out and back, so coming back, you're going to come right back by a lot of the places. Uh, Beck Park, like I say, will be a huge place for spectators. Yeah. Okay, yeah. great. And Jeff, what are you most excited about the race on Sunday? The run. I train on this course. I love the Greenway. I do too. <laughs> uh, and this run is really special to me. So, yeah, I'm really excited about the run. Nice, nice. D since we're making this change, are we looking at this as a uh, permanent change for the run portion of the Ironman? Well, that would be up to North Augusta and uh, Ironman, but I would love to see it stay. Right. And like I say, the residents, they really behind it, city council and the mayor, they're definitely behind it. So there's a good possibility it'll stay. A little rain is not going to stop what is what we can easily uh, say is a global event. There are yes. people from all over the world that come to participate with this Ironman. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Uh, one of my best friends, he lives in Ashburn, but he's from Guatemala. He comes just about every year. Uh, wow. Friends from South Korea, uh, Argentina. Mm -hmm. All over. Everywhere. Yeah. So any final tips for athletes? <laughs> uh, the first part of the run, maybe the first two miles, is going to be just a tad hilly. Mm -hmm. But once you make the turn on Martintown Road coming back, mm -hmm. it's going to be all downhill and fast. Ah, oh, okay. Then it's, There's it's, a little inside info for you. All right, great. Yeah, easy Jeff, ride. always good to see you. Thank you so much for the insight. Thank you. Thank you all. And good it. luck on Sunday. And good Thank luck you. on Sunday, exactly. <laughs> all right. We've